Hi, this is Tractor Mac. Let's take a look at two 25 horsepower tractors, the John Deere 3025E and the Bobcat CT2025. Both tractors are about 25 horsepower, but per the operator's manual, the Bobcat has 25% more PTO horsepower, more PTO power to get more work done. Both tractors have dual pedal control HST transmissions, but the brake pedal on the Bobcat is just to the left of the forward and reverse pedals, like a car. The Bobcat has rubber pads on the pedals for a better grip. The John Deere pedals are just bare cast aluminum. Also note that the CT2025 comes with a rubber floor mat. The John Deere is plastic. Hydrostatic transmissions allow you to easily adjust the ground speeds, but you need to have enough ranges to do a variety of jobs. The John Deere 3025E has only two ranges versus the Bobcat that has three ranges. John Deere has eliminated the low range, so when you need pulling power, you won't have any. The Bobcat has 6.9 gallons per minute of hydraulic flow, and the John Deere has only 5.3. So the John Deere has 30% less hydraulic flow to operate the loader and the backhoe. The Bobcat loader has 17% more lift capacity and lifts it 13% higher than the John Deere. Get more work done with a Bobcat. The Bobcat 3-point has 20% more lift capacity than the 3025E John Deere. And the Bobcat rear end is made of cast iron, not aluminum. The Bobcat CT2025 has 20% more built-in weight than the John Deere. More weight for added strength and durability. For better comfort, the Bobcat 2025 has an adjustable suspension seat standard equipment. The John Deere seat sits on non-adjustable springs. Both tractors have rear fuel tanks, but the Bobcat CT2025 fuel gauge is on the dash next to the tachometer. The John Deere fuel gauge is on the rear fuel tank. You must twist and turn to see the John Deere gauge. With a one-piece hood with spring assist, the Bobcat CT2025 has easy access to the engine, air cleaner, and battery. The John Deere has a four-piece hood that you must pop the hood and take off the sides and lift up the grill to get to the battery. This is a big step back in serviceability. The Bobcat joystick is located between the seat and the fender for better operator comfort. John Deere mounts the joystick on the loader, a much longer, less comfortable reach. Bobcat loaders come standard with a two-lever Bobtatch skid steer quick attach for the bucket and other attachments like a pallet or a grapple fork. This bucket system has become the industry standard because of its ease of use and the large number of attachments made for it. John Deere, however, holds the bucket on with two linch pins that are near the ground. The bucket tilt on the Bobcat loader is a four link style and gives better curl power and better dump angle. It also moves the tilt cylinder away from the bucket to protect it from debris that might come over the top of the bucket. John Deere hooks the cylinder directly to the bucket attachment. From time to time, you may want to remove your loader for better maneuverability, visibility, or for service. The Bobcat loader is a quick on, quick off loader. You simply put down the two stands, pull the two pins, and you can take the loader off in just a few moments. The John Deere loader is on for good and must be disassembled to remove it from the tractor. So let's review. More transmission ranges, more three-point capacity, more hydraulic flow, more built-in weight, more PTO horsepower, steel hoods and fenders, dash-mounted fuel gauge, adjustable suspension seat, a rubber floor mat, 
more loader lift and capacity and height, a better loader joystick control location, easy loader removal, and the industry standard bucket quick attach. You get more with a Bobcat. Contact the tractor team at Bobcat of Houston or Bobcat of Brazos Valley for a test drive and fit, see for yourself why Bobcat is one tough animal. You can view package deals and find the location closest to you at bobcatofhouston.com.